Fred pointed out this bagel. That Fred. Fred pointed out this bagel that just was. Yeah. Okay. I think that's gonna fit in there. Yeah. <laughs> that just was. Oh, she's keeping her hand. Yeah, I know. I can't. You ready for another bite? Let's feed you another bite. How about that one? Oh, yum. That's a good one. Her room is colder than ours. <laughs> it it feels really drafty to me. Have you ever noticed that? No, I. Okay. I'm worried about her getting cold at night. It's got to be something we can do. Yeah. We want to keep you warm. Nice and toasty warm. You had friends that went through the program and they really saved on their fuel bills. They ended up adding extra insulation to the foundation wall and upgrading their windows to triple pane. They saved $1,500 on their fuel bill last winter. Wow. Think what you could do with that. I wrote a huge check the other day. We just can't keep doing that. We're going to have to dip into savings to pay our bills. It's actually a pretty simple process from what I hear. You have a home energy rating. Um, so an auditor will come to your house and do an analysis of the home and that will give you a list of priorities um, on where to spend your money and what to invest in. Uh, then you have a set period of time to make those energy improvements. Hmm. And you say this is easy? Just go to the website and if you can't figure out the instructions, there's a hotline you can call and they walk you through it. Well, I guess it doesn't sound that hard to just look into it and see, see about getting started. But um, we really do need something to help us with our energy bills. Hi, are you Carol? I am. I'm Joel. I'm here to do your energy audit. Oh, great. Come on in. Okay. So, Carol, how old's the house? Um, I think it's 18 years old. Okay. And I've got your address as 1200 Energy Hog Way, is that correct? That's right. All right. I'm just going to get to work here, and uh, for starters, I'll take a look at your crawl space. Oh, okay. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. I, I think it's uh, right over this way. Okay. Oh, yeah. There she is. Have you ever been down here? Only once or twice. Well, we'll see what we can find. Yeah. Well, I took a look in your crawl space. It's definitely a, been a while since someone's been down there. It's missing some insulation, but I want to double check some stuff on that outside and get some more measurements. And while I'm out there, I'll take a look in your attic too. I'll grab a ladder and go up there. So uh, just give me a few minutes. I'll, okay. I'll be right back. All right. All right, Carol, as the next step, I'm going to go along and measure the inside dimensions of your house, and I'm going to use that to calculate the heated volume, the amount of airspace that you're actually heating. And we'll start here in the living room. So we'll measure how tall your outside wall is, and then about 8 feet. It looks like about 23 feet. And then we'll move on and we'll take some measurements of the other rooms. And We'll measure the different components in the walls, like the doors and the windows, and that'll all factor into the calculations I'm going to do later. Here they are. Well, at least they're in the garage. They're nice and easy to get to. Um, looks like you've got an electric water heater. It's a newer unit. Lucky you. Some of those old ones are really, really energy, energy hogs, basically. But uh, So yeah, I'll take this stuff down. We'll run it through the rating and see what, uh, see what we come up with. So your hands are actually really sensitive and you can 
usually tell even just a tiny little bit of airflow. And I'm feeling some coming along right here, right along the top of this gap in this door. I'm getting a lot down here by the sill. Let's take a look at this, this guy. Yeah, all the weather strip here is missing, so you've got a quarter inch gap here between the uh, the sill and the actual door, so this is something else you want to replace. But that's pretty typical. The old doors and old windows, they've just lost their seals, or maybe they weren't sealed as, as good to begin with. Oh, yeah. wow. So this is, this is a good place to start looking. This is an old electrical outlet mid-80s and early 80s, they didn't seal these at all, and I can feel the air just rushing in, so I don't want to put your hand up there and oh, check. Yeah. And, uh, so what, what that means there in wintertime is you've got hot air that's just rushing right out through that electrical outlet and going into your attic and out into the world. So um, the thing to do would be to inspect that attic, move that insulation aside, and air seal, caulk around all the electrical outlets. Um, any wiring and plumbing penetrations probably won't be sealed either. Okay. This is a pretty leaky old house, and there's quite a few spots like this, but you can, you can just feel that air coming in right around there. All right, Carol, well, I've got all the information I need, so I'm going to take that back to the office and run it through the AK Warm Modeling Program, and you should receive your energy audit in the mail in about a week or so. At that point, if you have any questions, feel free getting me a call. So, that's it? That's it. Okay. Well, have a good day. Thanks, you too. You did my home energy rating about a month ago? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just got the report, thanks. And um, it looks great, but um, I had a few questions. Do you have time? Oh, great. Um, there are all these improvement options here, and I'm just really confused about um, how to get started on this. I don't know, well, I don't know what many of these things are, um, but but I don't know how to go about choosing. Is Would you have any time to get together and, and help me through the report and decide what to do? Yeah, uh, this afternoon's great. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye. Looking at this first page, this little table here is just a breakdown of where your biggest heat losses are, and it's giving it to you in an estimated dollar cost per year. So you've got some pretty big heat losses just in comparison here in your floor, in your walls and doors. You've got a lot of air leakage. That's probably your biggest one right there. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a heating system that's inefficient. So we already know, just based by looking at this, some of the things we should consider. We want to improve the energy efficiency of our home and save money on our mm -hmm. heating bills. But at the same time, we want to um, strategize and make sure that we're making full use of the, the rebate program. And so, and that's the hard part. Ah, uh, yes. Well, what we're looking at here is that every half star improvement is one step. And so if your home, which is rated here at three stars, makes it to three star plus, that's considered one step, that's $4,000. Only the first step gives you $4,000. Every other step after that gives you an additional $1,500. So we're looking at this and we can say, aha, here on the front, you make some pretty big gains by looking at your floor system. And then here, you're getting about one and a half points for insulating around your foundation. Okay. Um, your walls here, you're getting two and a half points for insulating around the walls. Um, for looking at air leakage, wow, you get a lot of points for doing the air sealing. Um, you're getting some pretty good points here for adding some attic insulation, blowing in some cellulose into the attic. Okay. And so for each one of these improvements, you'll want to record the points, see how many points you have, and go back to the front page and see how far that gets you in steps. And so let's say you make five points worth of improvements. Uh -huh. Well, that could move you up a couple of steps here, and then you could get up to $5,500 in reimbursement. 
It's a tactical process. You have to look at what you can afford to do and what kind of money you have to spend on things and see what kind of points you get to determine how much money you will get reimbursed based on what you spend. So. Okay. All right. I think we can do that. Well, good luck. Thanks. Since you're a builder, you know how to do these things. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, this is something we do quite often. Yeah. Wow. Well, the thing is, um, yeah, I've gotten the rating yep. for my house, mm -hmm. and we've kind of looked at the improvement options that were suggested, and we tried to, we've kind of figured out which ones we want to do based on the points and and the rebates and so forth. But but I don't know what the improvement options are. I mean, I. I there's what it says, but we don't understand really what that involves. How hard is this going to be? And what do we do? You bet if you have a few minutes, let's go talk about it. Okay, great. <laughs> this is not as difficult as it sounds. I, it just, I don't remember any big holes in the, the, oh. in the walls and, and stuff. No, no. Well, it's, there, aren't, there aren't big holes necessarily. There's just a bunch of little holes. There's a lot more heat that's lost through leaking air than there is through generally through the insulation of your house. Really? Oh, and when the radar was there, we felt that the air, um, the cold air coming through um, a light fixture. Exactly. Light fixtures, wall plates, anywhere where uh, the building envelope may have some sort of penetration, anywhere the air can enter your home or leave your home, it's a great opportunity for air to warm air to leave your space. Okay. And you've got to heat that air. Okay, so we should really look for for places like that to seal up. One of my brothers and my sisters has I don't know what that means. R24 rigid foam board to exterior walls. Yeah. Well, this is kind of like putting on a nice thick down jacket. Uh -huh. you know, it'll it'll make your house a whole lot warmer. Okay. That that sounds kind of complicated. What it entails is putting six inches of rigid foam on the exterior of your house. Before you do that, you have to take the siding off, put the, attach the foam to the, to the walls, and then put siding on top of it. Okay. Um, well, I don't know if we'd do that ourselves or not, but if we called one of the local contractors or builders, would, would they know how to do something like this? Oh, sure. Any of your local contractors or builders would, would know how to do this. This is pretty standard. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Now, this next one here, um, Blown in cellulose in the attic. What what is that? Oh well, cellulose is a type of insulation. If there's there, you can have fiberglass insulation. You can have cellulose insulation. Okay. In this case, they're recommending uh, cellulose, which can actually there's a machine that blows this cellulose into the into the attic area. This is kind of the equivalent of adding putting on a, a nice warm hat in the wintertime. Okay. You'll this reduces the amount of heat that's lost through the attic. Okay. That sounds kind of fun, blowing in insulation. <laughs> okay, this last bit here, they recommend here that you replace the heating system with a new boiler. So, how old is the boiler in your house? Well, I don't really know, but it was in the house when we bought it. Oh, so it could be a fairly old boiler. This is a pricier option. However, once you've made these energy efficiency improvements, you won't have to buy as big a boiler to replace the heat that, you would, that you're currently losing. Oh, that's interesting. The, the payback on this is, is fairly quick. It's a good time. It's a good time. Okay. It'll save me that much? Well, it'll save you a lot of money and you'll be a lot warmer. It's just, it's nice to, to hear you go through these and just describe them and it makes them sound not that hard to do. Well, I can give you a number of some good contractors. Okay. This is great, Chip. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. I'll join you in a minute, kids. <laughs> Hello, Arctic Insulation. Hi, I got a rating on my house and one of the improvement options is to increase the insulation in my attic. Do you guys do that? Great, great. Um, specifically, it says to install R30 loose fill insulation in my attic. Is that something that you could help me with? Great, great. Can you um, give me an estimate? Sure. How about uh, next Wednesday? <laughs>